Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a magical day so far. And if you managed to catch this video before Christmas, I hope that you are all organized and ready. And if you catch it afterwards, I hope you had a great Christmas, despite the unfortunate circumstances that are currently affecting us all right now. Um, today's video is going to be December's Minnie Mouse main attraction series plush review. I was very unsure on whether to film this video because I am filming weekly vlogmas at the moment, but I decided that I'd filmed the other ones, so I may as well finish the collection and film December's review. So without further ado, folks, let's get into the video. Now, usually I would tell you about all the other items in the collection, but because this has been December's and the collection is now finished, I don't see much point. I think most of it's actually finished um, and sold out online. If there is some items left, what I will do though is I will leave a link in the description box down below to the Minnie Mouse main attraction page so you can check out what is left from the collection from the whole year in general. Um, so this is the plush. Now I think myself included were slightly disappointed that the plush came as this sort of black purple fireworks extravaganza. Um, because I think when we were told that it was going to be based on the castle, we assumed it was going to be pinks and blues, and it is definitely not that. But what they did go with is the end of night, so the fireworks on the castle. So as always, I start at the top of the plush and I work all my way, well, all my way down. I also want to point out my um, housemate got a cat, uh, or a kitten, sorry, and he's incredibly hyper, so if there's any thumping, hissing, growling, that's just his big brother, Ollie. Uh, not very impressed with him. So, the plush. So, if we start at the very top, she has fireworks on her ears, which I think are very nice. I do love her bow, and these are, I think, about the best ears that I've actually had on a mini plush from this collection. The bow, as I say, love this, and then we have a gold castle in the middle. The bow feels quite even. Some of the bows I've had on my plushes, one side's been fuller than the other, but um, it's actually a quite even bow this time around. If we move on to her face, the white part of her face is actually a different texture to the black. The black has almost like very, very faint glitter through it. If I turn it round, you might be able to see it just that way. And she does have blush on her cheeks, which I don't think she really needed. It just looks like, I don't know, like she's got a little bit of a cold or something. Um, and also the stitching on her nose is pretty decent. I know that one of them, I think it was maybe September's, was a bit dodgy. Whereas the ones since have been pretty good. On to the dress. So the top half is sort of like a little silk number. So you've got sort of these pink straps that come down and meet in the middle and then this purple satin fabric as well which is just quite plain around the back. We do have this belt which complements the bow pretty well. My only criticism to the belt is it's not stuck on very well. It's just a couple of like stitches that are holding it in so it is actually quite loose. If we do move on to her skirt it is actually layered so <clears throat> excuse me there's a few layers. So there's Minnie's lovely white underwear. But as you can see, we have pink, then we have black silk. So obviously the pink is sort of like a mesh material. Then the black is silk. And then of course the purple piece covered in fireworks and a castle is again in a sort of mesh material, which makes it, you know, a little bit poofy, <laughs> sticky outy. <laughs> I don't really know the right words, I'm afraid, folks. But, um, I'm sure you get the idea. Her gloves are the same colour as her face, which tends to be what they do with these plushes, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, it's a very soft touch. Um, I would say that her the white part of her face is a softer touch than the, than the black, basically, than the rest of the head and, of course, the arms. If we work her way down to the feet... Oh, wrong shoe. This shoe here has the Minnie Mouse main attraction, and then it will say series 12 of 12. I do have a little problem with the feet on this one. They're just a little bit uneven. And it also looked like I've got the same foot on both legs. I don't know whether anyone can notice that or whether it's just me being really, really fussy. I'm not too sure. Finally, we do move on to the tag, which is of course like this. It always says Minnie Mouse main attraction with the castle, and then it says 12 of 12. I always read out the inside. 
So it says, Sparks fly at the Disneyland castle. The Disneyland park premiered its fireworks show in 1956 and ever since the spectacular show has been offered nearly every night at all Disney parks around the globe. Guests have also been treated to surprises from beloved characters and timeless music for a completely enchanting experience. And then the inside of the tag is just fireworks with the silhouette of a castle in purple. These plushes, of course, retailed for $27.50. I'm not entirely sure that this one's worth the money, and I don't know if anyone's going to be upset with the fact that I've said that, but we are all, of course, excuse me my words, but we are all, of course, entitled to our own opinions on them. I do feel that this plush is not the strongest in the collection, and a little bit of a weekend in for me, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit disappointed with the fact that we ended on this. So, yeah, that's all I've kind of got to say on this plush. So, that's the end of the plush review, so let's finish out the video. So, as I just said, that brings us to the end of this plush review, which I'm very much aware has probably been incredibly manic. I haven't sat down and filmed a video for a whole month, and I'm also very aware of um, Ollie and Hunter playing and making noise in the background. So I do apologise if it's felt a little bit rushed. Um, overall, the plush is cute, but as I say, I just think to end on this particular one, I'm not very impressed. But um, it is what it is, right? So, I don't know whether I said at the start, maybe not, but there is of course going to be a monthly release for the year of 2021. Now, there's not much known apart from the character that is based on and it's going to be based on stitch so yeah i don't think i'll be collecting any of that i mean i like stitch but i don't like stitch enough to buy something once a month for him which is probably honestly a good thing because i collected most of the mickey mouse memories plushes i collected all the wisdom pins and i got like five of these plush from mini and that was it so i've collected less and less i think as the years have gone on so we'll see next year um exactly how it looks uh but yeah that's it um if you enjoyed this video please do give it a big thumbs up for me comment down below if you've collected any of the Minnie Mouse main attraction plushes what you thought of December's did you think that it was sort of a worthy end to the collection also are you going to be collecting anything from next year's Stitch monthly release um I do hope that you guys all have a fantastic Christmas and a very lovely new year, despite, of course, the circumstances. Um, I really hope that we all try and make the most of it. If anyone needs a chat, my DMs are always open over on my Twitter and my Instagram, which are always linked down below and on the end title card as well. I've been Disney Matt. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, notification bell, all that jazz, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.